Well, I've been having a really good session when so that happened I took it as a sign I should make a video about me replacing it you're gonna hear before and after samples and a couple of different microphones and pillow or no pillow all of this stuff and more but before we get to that I'm gonna ask you please subscribe okay so the <sighs> kick drum head or the bass drum head whatever you want to call it has shown up this is bullshit okay that's fine all right whatever absolutely not part of me is like oh i've got these microphones set up i don't want to mess with them but it's funny you can set them up a million times and still be superstitious about setting them back up and i think you shouldn't be it's just really not that complicated the chances of it sounding better are actually higher than chances of it sounding worse in my experience but still even knowing that i don't want to fuck it up i was gonna say so this is a premier kit made in england about the late 80s um and i bought it in ann arbor it was probably 96 and i seem to remember that i paid 400 bucks it might have been 600 four or 600 bucks i don't think it came with any stands i think it was just the shells but it came with this gigantic um zildjian symbol like a 26 inch might have been 24 but I, I, as big bigger than this drum ride symbol so this is the remo power stroke p3 clear and this is the remo weather king power stroke for bass i'm gonna try and take that duct tape off okay so i remember this now i was the one who put the first duct tape on there because that had started to come apart it's like pressed it's like plywood you know and whatever the glue has come out over the years and it's getting worse so i guess i'm just gonna put tape on it it worked for I don't know, a long time. I decided to dig out the extra, or the front hoop. I thought maybe I'll just throw the undamaged front hoop on. But if I sit them and try and make them, you can see one of these is warped. I mean, you see that? I think it would be better to have that problem than to have a warped hoop. So that's my judgment. Somebody, if you know different, let me know. What I'm doing is I'm just, I put that top piece on and now I'm just wrapping it like and pressing and trying to compress it. I thought about trying to squirt some glue in there, but I think that's just going to make a bigger mess. It's just going to stick to the outside because I'm not going to be able to surgically get in the cracks. But okay, let's just keep going. Okay, that's what we came up with. So it's the foil and then that stuff is like actually fragile it rips and tears and i felt like as soon as i clip it on it's gonna rip it so this duct tape is a lot heavier and i do think i mean it's not spongy we'll see it's gonna be fine okay we're back to this point i just set the hoop it's just sitting on there time to clamp her down this thing was worth the money i've had it for years now and apparently it's time to change those batteries oh yeah Get ready for the most thrilling thing you're gonna see on YouTube all week. Uh-oh. Hmm. This may be a problem. Maybe those batteries are dead too. Ah, it's dead. Don't let this stop you. Two bots are cool. Let's put this sucker back. I mean, it sounds like a kick drum. So, this thing. I thought, oh, maybe I'll do a before and an after and hear the difference. Then I thought, don't be stupid. But what if I put it like this? Or maybe it'll sound different if I put it upside down. There. Oh. So here we go. This, the new head is on and tuned to what I think sounds good and really felt good. Let's look at these meters, and I froze the levels so you can see the shape of each kick. 
Now, it's crucial you remember, these are not identical kicks. These are all different, different heads, different mic placements. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. But it is interesting to see what a pillow does and what, a, um, you know, the 52 looks like compared to the 112. I know it's probably not fair to not give you the full mix, but hey, I'm busy. I got to get back to work actually making a record. You'll get that someday. Anyways, from me to you now, thanks a lot. Little outro here. We'll see you next time. Hey, thank you for watching this craziness. Uh, it was fun to make. I just get bored doing stuff, and I only have so much time. And I realize that I... Uh, I can't get stuff done if I'm just doing videos that don't pertain to what I'm doing or they do vaguely, you know, but it's like, crap, I need to change this drum head. Let's just try and kill two birds with one stone. So thank you. Appreciate you guys subscribing and sharing. And you know, the thing about me is I'm not going to quit. So I'm just going to keep making videos and doing whatever the fuck I want to do. All right. See you later. Appreciate it. Let me to tell you about the time. Not only did I break it in a live show, this actual drum, but then there was kind of a, let's just call it a confrontation with the sound guy. It was the first song. And so I'm getting ready to pull this sucker out and uh, swap out drums. And he was just kind of a dick about the way that he, um, he's like, hey, watch my mic, you know, whatever. And I don't know. He just rubbed me the wrong way. And uh, he was an ass. And I'm like, what are you trying to say, dude? And it was funny. It's legendary. It was, you know, we were known for being um, 